So last time uh, we uh, we ended off uh, looking at an example like this. Uh, we were looking at uh, how to use code blocks to uh, to declare a variable. Um, like here we have uh, you know we want to make something called my number, but instead of uh, just saying seventeen, <clears throat> we decided we want to say you know come up with something called uh, second number and then return second number plus nine, which makes it seventeen. And you can see down below it's 17. But uh, where we ended off was looking at how to use the, or what the semicolon means in Rust. And when you do that, it changes it from a return to uh, just returning this, this nothing, this uh, unit type. And um, the other problem that, uh, that comes up here is that it says, uh, so-and-so cannot be formatted with a default formatter. So what the default formatter is, is this. And this is for types that uh, implement display. And you might be wondering what that means. So here's what it means. Display is not implemented for something. This means uh, something something does not have the power of display. This is... Um, and what display is, it's uh, it's called a trait. And traits in Rust are kind of like uh, powers for types. So things that you can do um, are called traits. You you make up these uh, these uh, these abilities for uh, for types and then you uh, you implement them and then they're able to do things like uh, like display using this formatter or uh, like adding or comparing, <clears throat> you know, comparing for uh, equality, greater, lesser, all of that is, uh, those are from traits. Um, but uh, you know, if we want to, uh, we're not going to talk about too much about traits yet, but the most important part here is this. In format strings, you may be able to use this or this instead. And what this is, is the syntax for uh, debug printing. And debug printing is, um, it's easy to uh, to implement, um, and it's um, it's basically just uh, information for the programmer. So it might not be the prettiest printing, but it will it will print it out for you. So there you go. My number is this, and then the other option it gives is this, which is uh, which is pretty printing, and uh, here it uh, it doesn't make a difference. But uh, see, it prints the same thing. But if you have uh, like a long uh, sort of uh, structure, like this big data structure, then it'll print out each part on a separate line and it'll be uh, a lot easier to read. So the, uh, the basic thing, you'll, you'll see this a lot when you're, when you're writing your own code. You'll, uh, you know, by habit, you'll write this and then uh, Rust will tell you, oh, by the way, uh, you're not able to print using that. So uh, you'll always uh, switch this regular print to debug print. So you'll probably be doing that a lot.